What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in learning the UDK, the Unreal Development Kit. Now before I even get started telling you guys what the UDK is, why it's useful, what you can do with it, I want to tell you guys this. In order to watch these upcoming tutorials, you need to change your resolution to 1080 and you also need to watch in full screen. That's how I'm going to be recording. I'm going to be recording my entire computer screen in 1080 resolution. So instead of trying to watch these videos on your small little YouTube player, watch on full screen 1080. You're going to be able to see every single detail of what I'm doing, um, every single menu, button, drop down box. And it's a lot better way. So that's how I'm going to be recording my videos. That's how I recommend that you watch my videos. So now that I got that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the UDK. The UDK is basically a program that's going to allow us to make awesome, amazing 3D games. So, let me, sh well, before I even get into, you know, talking about a little more, let me show you guys a couple of games that were created using this Unreal technology. Gears of War, Infinity Blade, Army of Two, Bioshock 2, Mass Effect. Uh, let's see what else we got down here. Batman, Borderlands, one of my favorite games. So, as you can see, these are some of the newest, most visually stunning, awesome games that were ever created. Not any, you know, crappy 1980 computer games. These are some of the most amazing games, and this is what we're going to be learning. So, these are the magnitude and caliber of games that we're going to be learning how to make. So, that's what we have to look forward to. I am super excited for this. So, with that being said, let me talk to you guys a little bit more about the UDK. I told you guys that it's a program used to make 3D games, but it's a lot more than that. The UDK is responsible for organizing all of our assets. For example, it organizes our 3D models, our 3D characters, our sound effects. It takes all these pieces and brings them together in order to allow us to put together an awesome game. It also takes care of how our computer handles uh, the memory, the graphics that appear on the screen. It also takes care of the game physics. So whenever you're playing a game, you take a lot of things for granted such as the sound and the physics and the game engine also known as the Unreal Engine is responsible for this so like I said it takes care of a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we take for granted so with that being said the UDK basically has all the tools that we need in order to create epic amazing games and by the way it's entirely free how awesome is that so let me go ahead and show you guys where to download this UDK Go ahead and go to Google and type in UDK and go ahead and press enter. Now go ahead and go to the UDK website, UDK.com. I guess you could just type that in your browser, but I like Google, so I might as well use that. Now this website may look a little different depending on when you're watching this video, but you're going to want to look for a button that says download UDK and click that. Now you're going to see a bunch of different versions of the UDK. They basically come out with a new version each month. Just go ahead and download the most recent version. Now at the time of this recording, the most recent version is the May 2011 UDK, but if it's a different version, then don't fret. It's basically the same program no matter what version you download. Just a few little features. Maybe they have a, you know, a couple more options included or something. But go ahead and download the latest version. I'm not going to go ahead and download it because I already have it downloaded and downloading two UDKs would be stupid. So I'm going to assume that you guys know how to download and install things because you guys probably have a lot of experience from downloading illegal music and stuff. So I'm not going to hold your hand and teach you guys how to download and install because I'm going to guess that you guys know how to do that already. But once it's downloaded and once it's installed, go ahead and under your all programs, I'm assuming you guys are using Windows. Um, go ahead and click Unreal Development Kit, and I want to create a shortcut to the desktop. So go ahead and right click UDK Editor and click Send to Desktop. This is going to give you a nice little shortcut on your desktop right here, and it's a lot easier whenever you're, you know, you want to use the UDK to click on this icon right here rather than going through your Start menu every time. So that's why I want to add an icon to the desktop, and basically if your program opens successfully it means you downloaded it and installed it correctly if something goes wrong it means maybe you downloaded a corrupt file just go ahead and download it and install it again but once you have this open it means that you downloaded it and installed it correctly now that is all I wanted to cover in this tutorial but I want to 
tell you guys about one more thing. At the end of these tutorials, once I'm done teaching you guys how to create 3D models and use the UDK to create everything, you know, game development related, I want to get a huge project together and I want to create a huge game. I think for the community, for the new Boston, it would be super fun. It would give us all a bunch of experience and also we'd have an awesome game to add to any of our resumes if we wanted to apply, you know, as a job as a game developer or anything like that. So that's the goal of these tutorials, to teach you guys how to create amazing games. And at the end of these tutorials, if you want to sign up to be part of this project, you can. But for now, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.